in the last few sessions we have discussed about we started with a simple concepts very simple concepts like a n n and then we entered into the classification simple classifications classification for images and classification for text we have done that by using c n n r n n and then we entered into the generative models right so in the generative models we have the image generations and text generations we concentrated on two concepts one is the image generation another one is the text generation we have done both image generation is by using the auto encoders and the gan and text generation is by using the rnns and also by using the transformers and that morning we discussed about that so in this actually these are the two separate wings meaning that one is the text analysis another one is the vision analysis document analysis we can say that it is a document analysis or text analysis analytics we have to call it as the analytics analysis is different analytics is different if you are having the prediction that comes under analytics if you have just summarization and existing data then it is called the analysis so analytics text analytics and the image analytics we have done these two concepts right so i hope you understand the generation of the images and the generation of the text generation of the images by using the existing images that is one way another is we are taking from the random from random we are generating the images we have covered these two from the image to image that is by using auto encoder and from the random we started with the variational auto encoder we just added the randomness that's it and in the gan directly we have created the images completely from random that is from noise from noise we have generated the images and don't think that the gan is completed gan it is just the basic concept of the gan we have given that is a stepping stone for the gan in gan there are so many types of gans we have not covered all those we have given the flavor of gan what are the various types of gans and uh, what are the cyclic gan is also there actually it is unsupervised gan is unsupervised as we have seen and uh, supervised is also there cyclic gan in that what we can do is we can give the i will give you a small example this is a standard example for gan anywhere if you give the zebra picture that will be converted as the horse and a simple another example see here i am taking the session here and you can take the photograph and if you apply the gan cyclic gan you can replace me with some other person meaning that everything is same simply replacing the person replacing the particular object that is also possible by using cyclic gan that comes under the uh, supervised okay so whatever there are so many ka different kinds of gans also available we have discussed only basic gan now we have we are entering into the next level in this instead of technical first we have to set our mind not the technical technical it is okay but here to enter into this topic we have to set our mind from different areas meaning that we are in the two areas now text analysis and vision analysis so we have to prepare our mind to combine these two right so let us start with this now why should we use this why we are using this vlm what is vlm 
vision language what is this vision language first you understand this then you can understand the original concept technical concept technical concept is easy but the motivation it is very important how why how we have to think why should we do this for that vision models in this we have several senses human senses how many senses are there how many senses we have senses or not five so you know that all of you know that i need not explain about them out of that which is the most important sense sense i am asking i am not asking the organ or the part i am just asking which sense is more important out of that see we have seen the corona in the corona time we lost two senses i think you may also feel uh, face that nose and tongue gone there is no smell no taste i also faced that did you get any problem for that did you get any problem of course taste not only the taste is one type of uh, that uh, the uh, touching only uh, so what did you lost did you lose anything at that time no if you are not able to smell it no problem in very rare cases it is useful uh, then which is a very important for some time you may not be able to listen and of course you can close your ears and you can you can be there by one day one day also it is possible right but vision vision is very important right so the vision is very important the vision why we have to analyze the vision this is of course vision systems and computer vision all these are there why we have why it is important more it gives you more information right even if you listen something instead of listening if you see the picture it will give you more information right and another thing is sometimes if you see something if you see something you cannot judge you cannot judge i will give you a small example for this just see this picture please see this picture what do you understand from that are they playing or fighting are they playing or fighting fight okay playing or fighting how can you say that it is fighting it can be also playing yes you didn't say i think you played also already you are playing i think no no then you are not a student you are not a student in room uh, we have to play like this we will play like this <laughs> in sharing rooms and all we will play okay so vision i'm talking about the vision with this sometimes we may not be able to judge whether it is the playing or fighting a simple example for this what more you need to decide whether they are playing or uh, fighting you may need to add one more sense it may be ears so based on the sounds with the visual then only 
you can enjoy or you can understand and there is one uh, song very beautiful uh, very nice song is playing in the uh, on the screen but there is no visual like our screen you know on our screen in the last uh, session you have seen one video there is no audio sometimes it is okay visuals are okay but audio is also important sometimes meaning that another sense is important and video and audio not only video and audio if you have some more information how can we give some more information about the video or picture picture you can give and audio how can you give that that you have to write if you want to give the see here in this if we add the audio it is okay but for the picture how can you add audio no problem there is no chance so what we can do we can add the text whatever the audio is there that you can add the text here the caption for this text you can give some caption for this for this image who knows the original uh, originality of this picture am i correct so this picture and if they give the caption that when they are playing when they are fighting this is a picture taken when they are fighting this picture was taken when they are playing if you give if you have this type of information then if you combine these two then you can understand this clearly otherwise you cannot understand meaning that sometimes we have to combine both in some other times we have to generate one information or some information based on the image or in some some other situations this is very advanced level based on the description you should be able to generate the images it is very difficult i think in the poems and in the stories there is very good description about something and uh, the nature it may be the description of the nature or god or anything so there are some descriptions based on those descriptions we have if you want to visualize that if you read you can visualize in your mind how you are visualizing that how you are visualizing if you see the picture you can get some thoughts in your mind right how they are developed and if you see if you read something then some visuals will be there inside your mind the visuals will be generated not complete visuals some features will be generated based on that visuals you can see those visuals right so in this meaning that in the recent advances meaning that till now what we have done is vision analysis and the audio and uh, sorry the sequence analysis the sequence consists of text and also the audio audio is also the sequence sequence audio or text both are sequence only please remember that okay sequence analysis sequence analysis is done by transformers and the video analysis or uh, i mean the image analysis can be done by the auto encoders or the gans and different algorithms already we discussed so the current trend is combining these two what are the other advanced topics available as like this multi modal learning multi modal learning it includes four it includes four paths one is visual another one is audio audio based and another is read or write writing meaning that the literature or description based on that another one is activity based activity based activity based means based on the motion based on the uh, movement of that object based on that we can do it It's like sensors we can take the sensors like a smart watch based on the smart watch you will get the sensors based on that data you can analyze so all these are the various kinds of data to be analyzed and to combined 
we can combine these two okay any any two or three so if you combine number of models if you combine the models different models then it is called a multi model till now we have done single model single model in the sense you may uh, you may use different algorithms two three algorithms uh, one encoder decoder like that but they are similar but here we have to use two different types of algorithms two different types of models to combine them it is the key point to be noted right so these are the uh, these are the points here multi model so out of that the most of the research is going on these two visual and read write visual and read write meaning that image and text image and text the on these two now i am giving you the choice what are the possibilities on vision and the text what are the possibilities on the vision and the text combination the combination of vision and text i have given some examples already anyone vision and text both text inside an image uh, image captioning yes image captioning one of the example yes any other solving problems means Yes, give the text and identify the images. The text, the related object, text related object, where is where is that in the different images? That is also one of the application. Yes. Any other possibility? Okay. Uh, you take these two only examples. These two only you just take. And how can we solve them? How can we solve them? Yes, we have taken the image and text. How can we solve? If you really think, definitely you will get one solution. Please think. What we are doing in the image analysis? What we are doing in the text analysis? please rethink context finding out the context context in the sense like for example the text has a particular context and we want to find out if the image also has the same context ah context in the sense the context what is it context you are saying that we have to make the common yes, common format right ah what what it can be embedded vector vector embedded vectors we can make it as the vector we can represent we are doing the analysis of the image and also analysis of the text and we are extracting the features in both the cases we are we are uh, extracting the features if you are able to extract the features from the image as well as the text related text to the same image and if you are able to correlate them then from there onwards you can develop different applications from there onwards that is a starting point and what you can use to convert the image into vector what you have to use ah uh. encoder by using encoder we can get the image into a simple vector and what about the text in rlm in rlm only what is the what are the parts of uh, components of transformer <laughs> again encoder what is the purpose of encoder it is converting into vector if you take two types of objects one is the image and another one is the text and if you are able to apply the encoders on that 
then you will get a vector and based on that from there what you have to do next level that you can decide from there again you have to go for the discriminative analysis or generative analysis that is different case generative model or discriminative there you can take the decision i hope you understand i hope you get the point now whatever is there the text data or the uh, image data whatever is there we can convert that into the vector not only conversion convolve and the get the features if you are able to get the features or patterns we can call them as the patterns then we can go for the pattern matching for the similarity by applying the similarities there are several similar similarities are there similarity techniques are there you can apply some similarities or you can apply some other techniques to classify or to generate or to find something and based on that you can apply the regular computer science programs or logic to get the relevant features or relevant objects right so this is the basic concept of the multi model meaning that we can apply the visual and also text and now the model what is a vision language why it is called a vision language we are applying the vision and also the language we are applying both and we are applying the visions vision for the language we can convert the vision into language that is image into text or text into image not converting applying right it is not conversion it is not conversion please don't think that it is conversion right now the ability to process the both images and the natural language text that is the vision language model and once if you analyze this then we can go with the zero shot image classification zero shot what is the zero shot once if you get the trained model then simply if you go with the feed forward actually we can call it as a feed forward in the old style but here we have the different models are there so different ways of models multi model so in that if you simply use the feed forward it is not enough so we have to go with the zero shot we will call it as the zero shot for the predictions we will go for the predictions by using zero shot classification once if you get the trained model now again here again here the here another point very important point here if you start working on the vision system and also the text analysis from the scratch if you want to develop the multi model then it will take your lifetime lifetime it is not possible so what we have to do is there are so many standard algorithms pre trained algorithms available pre trained models not algorithms pre trained models available they are called the pre trained models available in the different libraries and also they are in the repositories some repositories like github and others okay and uh, in the last sessions ma'am explained about the transfer learning transfer learning means you will try uh, you will train the model on one on some uh, environment and you will store that model you will store that model somewhere and again whenever you want to predict you can take the model and simply you apply the feed forward that is enough so that you will get the results here what we have to do we have to combine two models instead of building the model from the scratch better to take the pre trained model on the public data sets so many data sets are there and also for different domains separate models are developed for example for the general uh, data analysis for general images the there are several uh, data sets available like cipher and all so many data sets are available and for biomedical separate data sets and separate models are available okay and for the uh, space the space images 
and the satellite images for the satellite images separate models are developed already some models are available pre trained models so you can take them what domain you are using for what purpose you are using these models based on that you have to select the model and load it and use that meaning that you have to take some predefined cooked items you have to collect them and you have to mix it that's it that is only the required thing right now once if you have done you can eat it easily and so see here how we can do that the simple example is you can see that there is a picture whether it is visible to last rows or not i don't know see here there is a picture in this picture actually i am giving the vision language model i am giving this picture to here and in general if you want to train it is not a new technique it is it has to identify what is there what are the objects in that picture it is not a new thing already with cnn we have done that but only the labeled data we have to give the labeled data and you should have the proper data set then only you can do it but publicly available data sets so many public data sets are available public data sets and in the internet you will get the uh, infinity data sets right and they are also indirectly labeled and from that i want to get some data and i want to predict something i want to train it for that what we have to do for this actually if you give without any labeling if you give this picture directly then it, where it has to search and how it has to get the labels how it has to get the labels there is very pre trained models are available there are so many pre trained models in that it will take much time to search also because of that reason we can give some text also as the input what are the what is the text lion and cheetah and cat and a dog rabbit and bird i am giving some prompt prompting i will give some prompt yes this is the image along with that i am giving this prompt also i want to search in these only right so what it will do is the vision language model it has to take the input image and the prompt also it has to get the probabilities it has to generate the probability for each and every label it has given the prompt for every prompt you have to identify that if you are writing the exam a simple example if you are writing the exam you may get stuck somewhere and you will get prompt you will take prompts right and you will get the prompt and you immediately hey it is not that question this one that is enough then you will get you will go to the correct answer sometimes you may be confused so the prompting is for guiding the right way we can guide in the right way to achieve the goal so these are the things by using instead of giving the large amount of the data large amount of the predictions we are giving some prompts based on that it will limit to that place otherwise it will be somewhere i will give you one more example if you want to search for the deep learning in this in the internet if you want to search for the deep learning algorithms how many you will get everyone is writing about deep learning everyone is talking about deep learning <laughs> nowadays so many blogs so many so much of content and if you go for the prompting if you give the prompt i want the deep learning only from this author i want deep learning from this publisher i want deep learning from this there is a prompt if you give the prompt right so the prompt it has to identify the 
this is it is also called prompt engineering it is a it is a very big research area prompt engineering again right i'm not i don't i'm not touching that concept now at this moment right now in this it will give you that score for uh, the cat and dog it is giving the 99 percent and rabbit and lion it is giving 0 0.0048 meaning 0 0.048 percent and another one is very less so we can go for the dog and cat meaning that in this we have to analyze two things image and also the text now in the visual language models in this image retrieval image retrieval from the text image retrieval from the text meaning that whatever i have given to you whatever i have discussed description if you give the description i have to produce the visual visuals and for uh, grounding and then visual question answering all these are the various things generate to caption generate the caption for the given image and detection of head speech all these are there are various applications or we can these are the possibilities there are so there are so much of researches are going on on this area okay now in this learning strategy the learning strategies okay where we can use that is different case first of all how to learn not for us what are the learning strategy means not for us for mission how it can learn from the different models there are some strategies available with the existing algorithms here there are no new algorithms there are no new algorithms introduced here only existing algorithms we are using the existing algorithms and we are just arranging them in the proper way that's it all are exist most of them are existing algorithms only we are just making them together and we are preparing that okay so there are three key elements for learning strategies one is the image encoder and text encoder you only gave these answers after that what we have to do once if you encode them we have to combine these two meaning that a strategy a strategy to fuse the information from the two encoders these two we have to combine how to combine these two these three are the base concepts if you are able to understand these three points then you can go for the building these type of applications okay and and this is the thing and how we can do that is again we have to adjust the loss functions loss functions again loss functions for text analysis are different and image analysis they are different and for the based on the problem statement also the loss functions are based on the type of data and type of problem also so we have to set the loss functions properly to combine these two encoders right and and in the latest research as you know that transformers our complete workshop is based on this concept so transformers and we are using the transformer for text analysis till now you have used it this for text analysis we have to combine that for image analysis also how can we use that for the vision language okay now themes the themes and the pre training objectives meaning that don't try in from the scratch you have to take the pre trained models and you have to utilize them properly that is only required thing okay now one of the theme there are several themes they are called the themes it is a vast area and it can be classified into different varieties but we cannot touch all the points so we are taking some areas okay now in that we are going through the themes in the theme wise contrastive learning contrastive learning meaning that we will take the features from the both the image and the language and we will combine them with some strategy with some strategy and we will go for the similarity in that 
and then we can go for the predictions. What are the predictions? I will show you the program also for this. And prefix lm. Prefix lm means we have the prefix means it is like if you have some text and if you want to predict the next word, the next coming word. There is a prefix. It is the prefix and next you have to predict. Based on that you can predict the next one and next one. Prefix ln. In that also, in the images also we can do that. In the images also we can do that. We can give some parts of the images and related text also and then finally we will go for the prediction of the next. Next text. Okay. And Multimodal fusing with the cross attention. With the cross attention, we can fuse the visual information and text information with the different layers. We will go with the different layers. We will combine the features of the image into the transformer directly. Actually, here till now, up to this concept, we are having two ways and we are combining at one point. But in this case, we will go with the levels. First, analyze the visual, get the features and combine that with the text and analyze both. Okay, this is another way. And mask language modeling, meaning that we will combine two, meaning that the masked images, masked language modeling and image text matching objectives. Meaning that it will combine the two things at the same places. I will show you that also. Okay. And after that, no training. Actually, for first four themes, you have to load those models pre-trained. I am telling you the pre-trained, they are available already. You have to load them and you can use them. And for the last one, uh, even if you load them, you have to train it for your data set. You have to tune little bit. You have to add some layers, at least for the classification and others. You may need to, you may need to add some layers. And no training theme is also available. Directly you, you can take the pre-trained models and apply it. For prediction, directly you can go for the prediction. You need not tune it. You need not tune anything further. Right? So, these are the various things. And contrastive learning. In this, contrastive learning, it is the very common model which we will use. And it will learn from the text encoder and image encoder. And we will combine them and we will go with the contrastive loss and then we can go with the next predictions okay and we can go with the uh, in that what are the models available clip clip is the model contrastive language image pre-training model this is what we are concentrating in this session and I will show you the programs how to predict and how to work with them Okay, and CLOB and align and uh, dclip, all these are the various uh, uh, algorithms available, various tools available, and they are the pre trained. And the clip, it is from the Open AI, it is from the Open AI library. Open AI is not only for some limited algorithms, it can, it is providing so many algorithms, so many models for different algorithms. Even reinforcement learning is also from OpenAI. Reinforcement learning algorithms and uh, all the transformers and all these are but uh, so many uh, algorithms are available in the uh, OpenAI. Out of that, what you want to take, you have to choose that. So Clip is also as the part of that. DALI is also available in that. Right? DALI. And now, now, contrastive learning. In the contrastive learning, how it will generate, how it will perform. That is, see here, as we discussed, the same concept. 
if you are able to understand the base concept everything is depending upon that only so here text and image for text there is the text encoder for image there is the image encoder we can go with the text encoder and image encoder what are the text encoders available what are the text encoders available text encoders are there only encoder based algorithms are there what are they but is encoder based only and decoder based algorithms also there but okay one more gpt is also decoder based right generative whatever is generating it is generating decoder will generate am i correct morning only the session is completed morning only two two sessions but and uh, gpt right uh, so you can use any of the encoder you can use any encoder there text encoder and our encoders are also there image encoders are also there we can use any of the convolutional you can use the convolutional layers and of course for that also we need not construct the cnn model we have so many pre trained cnn models resnet generally we will use the resnet in most of the cases okay residual residual networks we will use that so to for uh, image analysis okay but of course the they included the classification layer also we have to remove that and there are some points are there instead of that open ai they have adopted all these models and they have changed a little bit and they have removed the last layers also only features they have taken and they have developed the same models they have given with different names the names are changed little changed okay now we can use the image encoder or text encoder and image encoder whatever the encoder the encoder will generate some vector whatever it is and the combination how can we get that combination that contrast to space in that space this feature this feature belongs to the which feature there what is the probability for that that will be there so we will build that vector and based on that we can go for the predictions this is the first step first step is we have to develop this immediately we have to after that second next step is we have to create the data set classifier from the label text we have to generate the data set for prediction okay and we have to provide the images also how to provide the images also and then these again they have to be given to the encoders image encoder and the text encoder again there will be the matching the matched objects which are giving the highest probability they will be filtered those items those items can be given by using those items whether you want to generate the new things or whether you want to just display them display the labels or whether you want to display the related images to those labels that is your wish in general the clip is for what we are taking the input is here the text input and what we are getting the output is we will get the two types of outputs the output means it will give you the features at the end you may display the related pictures or you may get the you, you may display the label also what you want to display that is your wish okay so the this is the contrastive based learning in this clip this is a clip architecture only this is the clip architecture only what it is having initially it is having the we have to provide the training set training set for we have to provide two elements of the training set one is the images and corresponding text image and corresponding text can you get these type of uh, data sets 
image and related text we will get so many because every time even in the newspapers also we are getting so many images right with the text there will be some image and there is there are there will be some caption or some information about that and in the textbooks if you see the textbooks in every textbook there are number of images those images are having the labels also what what that image is representing you can take any one any of them of course pre designed image data image text data sets are also available they are available in the kaggle and of course they have included in the libraries also in the open ai library also they have included so many data sets like our sklen i think you heard uh, you are familiar with the sklen in the sklen we have some data sets breast cancer data set and california data set is also there i think uh, boston boston data set and other data sets are there like that this is also having the open ai kaggle and uh, tensorflow all pytorch all these are having some set of data sets so you can take the data set from there also okay and first we have to take the data set the images and corresponding uh, captions are the text and we have to apply the encoders two encoders one is the image and uh, uh, text encoders and then we have to construct this and then the next step is you need not train it completely you have to train only for your data set you need not train from the scratch already it is trained so for, for you for your data set you have to train that and we have to go for the predictions for the predictions again now based on your data set it it got trained let i will give you a small example public data sets it may have the general information and i want to analyze only the fruits for example i want to analyze only fruits so what i can do is i can add some fruits in the data set i can give some fruit images fruit uh, tree images like that and i can give some uh, labels for that not labels captions i can give some captions and give the training and then what i have to give is the training is over now i want to give some of the text here i want to give some text here i want to ask the question i want to display i want to display uh, some fruit i want to display apple this is the photo photo of apple i think in the google search you are typing that photo of apple if you type that all the apple pictures will be filtered and it will be given am i correct the similar thing it will be done A, a photo of one object we can give, and for that again you have to give the prompt. For that you have to give the prompt. What is that prompt? You have to give some set of fruits. Otherwise, it will take every fruit in the world. It is very difficult to uh, uh, filter. So you have to give some prompt also. So based on the prompt and based on this. the images in the images these prompts where these prompts are available in those images that is available that is available here that is available in this contrast to space in this it will verify and whatever is uh, matching with that that will be given and it will again give you the probabilities probability highest probability we can take the highest three probabilities or highest four probabilities or highest top two probabilities or top one probability you can take and based on that you can go for those images meaning that if you give one caption then it will display the related images so what will be your input for the end user for end user what will be the input the input will be the input will be the text you will give the text i want to display the fruit uh, apple photo of apple and it should display all the photos with apple 
got it now this is how we can implement this not implement how can we use the existing clip for this actually if you want to develop this kind of application what you have to do i want to give the text display the image of apple you just think display the image of apple that is your input and what you are expecting is all the apple pictures from the given data set from your given data set it has to give all the pictures of apples how can you develop this forget about clip forget about clip how you have to develop this how can you develop can you develop this if you give some blurred image and if you are expecting the clear image it is okay if you give the blurred image and expecting the colored image it is okay and blurred image and if you are expecting the correct image that is also okay and if you are giving some text in one language if you are expecting some other language it is also okay but you are giving the text you are expecting the image but you need not generate the image in this case you have to match the context you have to match the context in the available images and it has to display all the images which is matching this context so if you want to develop this from scratch it will take lot of time and you need large data set and we need the high computation power high computation power gpus okay now we can develop this by using the clip we can directly download the clip okay clip pre trained model and directly we can train we can give our images and our captions and we can execute it and we can get the outputs i will show you that i did not work on the kaggle for these programs but i have the links of google collab but i pasted them in the kaggle in kaggle you can find the clip programs notebook in my profile in kaggle in my profile you can open the notebook with a clip programs or clip program links something is there did you find in kaggle opening and one more thing if you want to connect to kaggle don't connect with college network do you know what is the problem see kaggle if you connect more than 20 members from the same ip that ip will be blocked and 21st member cannot connect to kaggle from that ip so all of you are connecting with uh, college network there will be only one ip so only 20 members can work so you can connect with your uh, own network so please open that and you can you have the links google collab links in that notebook did you find anyone anyone opened that kaggle these are also standard codes these are also standard codes okay from the open ai and some other uh, uh, github from there only i have taken but from authorized codes not from someone else okay and i have taken these codes and i customized for my analysis only i have added few statements not more than that very few to for my analysis what it is happening and if you even if you download the codes please remember that even if you download the codes in the middle of the codes you have to add the print statements so that you will get what is the output so that you can understand more okay that's what i have done in this okay whatever now in this you can just see that see i am installing clip from github from github i am installing clip 
right it is open ai if you want to go for open ai and open ai api you can use it i think it is the paid service it is a paid service if you want you can register and you can use it otherwise you can go with this okay it is a github link you can download from the github and you can execute it just download i'm just installing the github a repository from that i install the clip and then here this program is from pytorch not from the tensorflow it is not from tensorflow or keras it is pytorch it is another library for deep learning machine learning and all the other techniques okay so in the pytorch and loading the model i just want to load the model already we installed the clip from github and import clip we are just importing the clip and a clip dot available models we have number of models here okay vit means vision transformer it is the vision transformer so these are the various models available in the clip these are for two purposes one is for encode actually encoders we have to apply the encoders on the image as well as the text we have to apply both okay we have to see that and this is also there see model and pre process we are just taking that pre process model model and pre process we are taking from the vit b32 okay this is also another pre trained model it is also the pre trained model okay this is for pre processing of the text and also for the images both are available okay and we are doing that and then input resolution we are taking the input resolution okay and then context length and all these we are taking just and we are displaying them we are just displaying whatever are the downloaded and downloaded and loaded installed and loaded the from the clip model we are just analyzing what is what what are the models available and what is the input resolution and the context length what is the context length the context length and then uh the size in the transformers and the series analysis we have the vocabulary size right i think in the morning sessions we have covered right vocabulary and then uh, nlp nlp concepts okay because we have to work on the text also not only image text also we have to combine both this is the challenging task yesterday we struggled to combine the two images both the images but here we have to combine the image and text please see that here and pre process we are just pre processing that the pre processing will be done and uh, that will be there yes clip dot tokenize in the clip model itself it is having the tokenization how it is tokenizing i am not going to discuss about that so tokenize once if you tokenize that it will give you the data and then this is for just for the sample for hello world how it is tokenizing after that i am taking some libraries supporting libraries all these are the supporting libraries only right and then a descriptions these are the descriptions for images for whatever the images i am taking for them these are the descriptions so images we are taking the images from the sk image from sk image we are taking the images for them we are giving the captions 
we are creating the captions here okay we are just setting up the data and then sk image inside the sk image what are the directories available these are the various directories available okay number of directories are directories are files the files are available like this in the direct in that sk image and then we are taking the images we are generating the images image data set we have to generate the image data set okay we are reading the file step by step and then descriptions also we are going with the descriptions we have to open the image and based on our uh, configurations we have to resize it and then we have to add to the data set and then these are the images finally after pre processing these are the images camera dot png the caption is a person looking at the camera on the tripod and this is a rocket rocket image okay and these are the various images and the captions whatever we have given these captions you can see that we have given some uh, so many captions see here this is the caption camera for camera we are giving we have given the caption right that is only combining we are not applying the clip here we are just taking the images from the library and mapping we are giving some captions and we are just mapping them we are not doing anything more than that okay and we just create we are just creating the data set after that we are giving what are the texts actually i just want to see actually this is not available in the code i have added that what is the text variable what is the text variable i just want to see that so in that all the captions whatever we have given they are available in the texts and then images how the images are represented i just want to see the images yes anybody opened the program clip program yes because the screen is not visible to the last rows so better to open the program okay just go through it and one more thing you cannot understand each and every line at this stage only you just go through it what is the purpose of each and every code snippet not the each and every line you will get some time to analyze each and every line in the uh, when you start the projects okay not now because you have not practiced on the uh, cnn also in deep learning also you have not practiced so you cannot understand each and every line at this moment okay and then this is these are the images actually all these are the images image representations and then original images what are the original images the original images are these are the representation of the original images the file names are the file names they have loaded whatever the loaded images are there and one more thing once if you load the image there are two things one is it may be loaded into a a format given by the library which you are using to load let us say for example if you are using the pil library to load the images the loaded images will be in the format of the pil pil library and you have to convert them into numpy again after converting into numpy array it that will be looking like this each image otherwise they will be looking like this image object pil image object here these are the pil image objects okay i am not taking very big data set and here features to build the features image input pytorch dot uh, tensor of np dot stack of images and images all those images they will be given okay and then tokenize for the tokens image input and text input there are two inputs we have to give do you remember we have to give two inputs one is the image data set another one is the corresponding captions data set 
that is text data set so we are preparing these two image input and the tokens text tokens it is the text input we are giving two inputs and then we are converting that into float and then we are uh, generating the features we are generating the features by normalizing that and then we are going with the similarity we we are going with the similarity for these two images these two okay and then i am just taking that count into the length of the descriptions how many descriptions are there i think i have given 8 8 or 10 are there okay and i am just plotting the images and the corresponding captions and what is the corresponding element see here and uh, the similarities are identified here by using the at operator okay and then we are getting this cosine similarity on the image and the given caption or the se uh, sentence right after that we are just going with for the zero shot image classification for that i am taking the another data set say for data set 100 and i am going with the description of the data set these are the tokens for the text text tokens and i am creating the features again and i am creating all the features and then we are going for the labels we want to get the labels okay so see here we have to go with the what we have done is previously we have given the some images and some data some sentences and we applied the model and then i am giving right now i am giving just the captions i am not giving the images i am giving the text as the input for those inputs for those input text and we have to get some images related to those text we have to get the images and in the images we may get so many objects within the images we may get so many objects and for all the text they are related to some image am i correct so in that what are the top images these are the see here these are the indices of the captions indices of the captions for each image okay for each image so see here for eight images this is the first image this is the second image this is the third image and see here in the 46th sentence in the 46th sentence it is representing this image is representing in the 11th sentence 11th text it is giving the it is related to the image first image and the second image related sentences these are the indices of the sentences which are related to the second image third image related meaning that i am taking the top 5 only top 5 okay and the original images they are the same images from that i just want to plot them and see here i just want to go for the displaying of the top 5 probabilities for this image for this image what are the probabilities man and boy and then telephone plane woman 
these are identified as the top probabilities for this image see here i am taking the image for this image these are the top probability text if you want to take only the text and related images that is also possible that i will show you in the next example okay so for this image for this image rocket is having the highest probability and skyscrapers and uh, bus clock i of course clock tower is also looking like this i think because of that reason it is giving at least some okay bridge all these are having some probabilities and top five probabilities here this is having some uh, uh, probabilities and this is having the cup unexpectedly the coffee is not having here it is a coffee cup but there is no coffee and uh, i have seen that actually coffee is also one of the class but it is not recognized as the coffee <laughs> it is a coffee cup but it is not recognized as coffee and see here it is identified as the women this and it is is identified as c here it is the identified as bed and uh, pickup truck and bridge <laughs> actually we have given some text text image but it is identified as like that of course there will be the error definitely there will be the error okay so these are the probabilities and this is at uh, this image how it is identified as sirs all these are from please correlate don't try to understand code first first try to understand what is the solution what is the output what is the input and output we are getting if you are able to understand then you can tune it for our data set what i have given is eight images as the input just eight images as the input and eight captions i have given and then i have taken number of captions or number of sentences from somewhere i have downloaded and for those sentences what are the uh, images are related how the images are related to these sentences i found the probabilities for the first image these sentences are having the highest probability like that for every sentence for every image there will be the probability so out of that top 5 probabilities i am taking if you give top 3 only 3 will be given here somewhere it is there top 3 actually i tried with 10 also somewhere yeah see here top 5 i want to get top 3 only then you will get top 3 okay now this is these are the predictions and now my labels i am giving the labels in this see here text descriptions i am just generating the caption this is my purpose i want to generate some text and i want to give that as the input so i want to give the labels and tokens i want to convert them into tokens see here text tokens equal to clipped or tokenized of text descriptions i am converting them after that i just want to go for the probabilities at this i am giving the top 3 only you can see that i have given top 3 only i am giving my captions previously i downloaded from from somewhere and i have given i have analyzed now i am preparing my own captions and i am giving that i am trying to get from the same data set from the same model so for this what i have given the captions are this is a photo of dog this is a photo of cat this is a photo of coffee cup rocket all these i have given and for this how the model works for the same thing how it is working is see here for this photo and the probability is highest probability is rocket is here i think it may be identified this particular this part may be identified as the rocket i think and uh, cup 
I don't know. I think the hand, it may be, or somewhere, it may be identified. Cat is identified. I don't know. But rocket, it is identified perfectly. Okay. Coffee is identified. Cup is identified. Cat, this it is having some some probability. Cat, it is cat is identified. In my labels only. It is from my labels. Right? And then here also rocket. Why it is uh, identified as rocket? Back side there is the rocket. Rocket picture is there. We did not actually I did not observe. I am seeing that okay, it is a, a woman picture, but back side there is the rocket picture. So that it has identified, okay. And I think I have not given women in my list of labels. In list of labels, I have not given as the woman. So rocket I have given. So for rocket it is searching, okay. And it is searching for rocket, dog, cup, coffee, all this. For all these it is searching. And we are getting this. See, for this, in my labels, which are there, no. Actually, I did not give horse, I think. I did not give horse. If you give horse, definitely it will give you good probability. Okay? And dog, yeah, this is interesting. This bike. Bike is recognized as dog, cat, and rocket. Dog, why? The shape, you just see the shape. Shape of dog and shape of uh, uh, bike. You can see that. The features are looking same. So like that, we will get that. And uh, and then, now what I am doing is, I am doing another way. These are the captions. And now, this is the, I just want to get the only one picture for my captions. I want to give one sentence. For that sentence, what are the images related to that sentence? I want to filter them. See, I am explaining how to retrieve the data. That's it. I am not explaining how to build the model. How to use the existing model. I am explaining how to use the existing model. Right? Now, in this, this I have written. Actually, in the, till the previous one, up to here, it is available in the code. And I added my own words and I have tried with this and I got the probabilities for my data set. And now, here, for this data set, my labels, dog, cat, coffee, cup, rocket, I am taking the same in, uh, labels for these labels I want to display the related pictures previously what we have done we are displaying the picture and the probabilities top probabilities of the given labels but now I want to get the picture of that particular the pictures which are related to this sentence so how we can get so top labels top labels for these are these are the labels and now I am just, I have written this logic. How, I, how you have written, don't, please don't ask me now because I cannot explain in a short period of time. Okay, so this I have written for the dog picture. I think it is about the dog, right? For dog it is giving these two pictures. For dog, it is giving two, these two pictures. Actually, dog picture is not there in the list of pictures. So, looking like... Is it there? Dog is there in the pictures. In the original data set, eight pictures. In the eight pictures. So, already it is trained. Already it is trained for the dog. So, related to that, these two are having the similar uh, shapes of dog the similar shapes of dogs so it is giving this and and then uh, this is a photo of coffee <laughs> this is a photo of the coffee ah, no, no, the coffee this one sorry this is a photo of cat actually 
the ana uh, the alignment is different see here this is a photo of cat it is displaying here photo of coffee it is here yes it is correct photo of rocket it is ah for rocket it is having number of pictures for rocket it is having number of pictures hope you understand see what we are doing we have given the what is my input my input is for the at the end my input is the text i am giving the sentence and related to that sentence what are the images which are matching this sentence those images are display for that simply if you want to download the code it is not enough you have to tune little bit first you have to little bit understand the code after that you have to tune it little bit okay whatever i have shown you i the simple example is whatever i have shown you the picture and the probabilities of different uh, uh, objects that was given in the code and for that displaying of the pictures for this particular sentence that i have written we have to write something minimum programming knowledge is required and now we can what we can do more i want to give my own pictures and i want to give some text also so based on that how it is how this model is working i have to verify and a simple example is we can take the pictures of our campus in the classroom in the auditorium in the uh, parking area and uh, near auditorium and uh, near b block e uh, f block and all these we can say that all the pictures and finally i want to give the caption like show me the picture of auditorium show me the picture of classroom show me the picture of chit chatting yakar do that will be anywhere chit chatting anywhere especially in classes right okay so generally it is in the canteen or outside we can get those pictures the se- those pictures will be given so i want to train for that how can i train for that how we have given these eight pictures as the input we have to give these pictures and we have to give the captions we have to take one picture and you have to give the caption that uh, five five students are chit chatting and class is going on some meeting is going on in the auditorium so like this you have to give the captions and you have to feed that to our model that model and then we can predict we can give one sentence after that you can give one sentence based on that you will get the images hope you understand at least some part if you see that on the screens you please open the program and see the result and if you want you can change the you can change little bit the captions also you can change the captions instead of dog cat you can change some other options then you can find the result okay i have given the code completely you have to change and you have to do the experiments i have given the code for auto encoders i have given the code for gan variational auto encoder and i have given the code for clip also please do the experiments on that okay so this is what the first program in another program actually this is another uh, yeah this i have taken from another source of course maybe the towards data science and so many places are there okay i have taken this also and what we are taking is we are see yeah, this is the thing our expectation is like this our expectation is like this i want to give the query a boy jumping with a skateboard then i have to get these pictures i have to get these pictures and a girl jumping from swing 
I, then I should get these pictures. I should get these pictures. Okay. The query, if you give some query, the related picture should be given. What is there, sir, inside that? I'm, you are asking the girl, uh, girl jumping in the, in the, on the swing. You can easily get with the database. No, it is not the database. The picture is not captioned with that. The picture is not exactly captioned with that. The picture is captioned, may, it may be captioned from some other uh, uh, sentence. But my sentence is this. Related to this sentence, it has to verify inside the picture and it has to give the result. Please remember that. There is an image analysis and a text analysis, both are involved. You may feel that it is like a database. It is not the database program. It is looking like the database program. You are giving some query and you are getting the related image. But it is not the database. If you want to implement this as the database, you have to give the captions. For one image, you have to give nearly 30 to 50 captions. Then you have to give the exactly the same sentence, whatever you have given in the database. The caption exactly, you have to give that and then you will get the picture. Here we are doing the machine learning. We are doing the image analysis. So, based on the given text, it is analyzing the features and similar features in which images the similar features are there those images are getting filtered hope you understand now this is another way another way of implementation the previous one in the previous program I am giving two programs to you I am giving two programs to you ok one program is uh, the previous one that simply we are downloading from the github and predicting this program it is having little implementation this is directly from the transformers from the transformers and we are taking some pre-trained models and we will build you just go through this program i have given the program also you please go through this program we are developing this program actually here we are building the model little bit not completely some part of the implementation was there ok and here we are implementing after that encoder we are designing the encoder image encoder and then text encoder we are giving the text encoder and then we are combining those two projection head projection head means that matrix whatever ok and then clip we are going with the clip designing the clip clip model we are design the clip model with uh, this uh, image embeddings and text embeddings and then with the encoders both the encoders and then we are training that and this training is taking much time you can execute this actually yesterday night only I have executed it is taking much time nearly one hour it is taking to get trained on the data on the same data set ok and uh, finally I am showing the result see here dogs on the grass I am giving the caption my query is dogs on the grass so it is giving me these pictures is it giving correctly or not almost ok and I am giving cat and dog on road on road here it is not it is not on road ok and cat is also I have given but cat is not captured I think the images are not available I think ok and another one couple in food court Okay, here it is giving like this.
food court pictures it may be correct or wrong we don't know it may be correct or wrong because there will be always some error there will be always one some error if it is 100% then what will be happen in the machine learning or deep learning if it is a 100% what will be happen what is it called if there is no error at all what is it called you know that overfitting we'll call it as overfitting it is exactly the whatever you are giving it will be like that okay and another chance is also there even if your model is very good if there is some new data set if you are getting if you are giving a completely new data set which is not completely related it is not related to the existing data in that situation also your model will not give the proper answer right these type of sentences are not available in the trained data set right food court is there so food court because of that reason food courts and uh, some uh, food items are displaying and men sitting on bench like this these are the various pictures so all these are the filtering filtering the pictures hope you understand you just go through this program again we can discuss uh, if you have any problems you can come to me and we can discuss and now okay now i just want to stop this not session still some some concepts are there okay we have to discuss some concepts i will complete this in 10 to 15 minutes what is huh? already four okay i will just summarize the next uh, models actually we discussed about only one theme there are five themes we have discussed you forgot i think see this five five themes we have given in that only first model we have discussed actually that is only the focus we have to give that only and i will go through that Uh, other models also in this what we have done is we are using two separate encoders and we are giving that to the next level of the model and prefix in the prefix i will show you the directly the model and in the prefix model vit visual transformers it is also introduced here and vit we have seen that in the clip model in the clip model list of models in that vit is there okay and see here in this what we are giving is the image is divided into the patches the image is divided into patches these patches are given to the uh, uh, network and it will, it is given directly to transformer encoder and the text is also given to the transformer encoder please try to understand the difference previously we have used two encoders separately but here we are using the same encoder and that to transformer the transformer we are giving and we are analyzing the transformer decoder also we are giving that to transformer decoder and we are generating some text or image also we can do it okay this is the prefix and multi model in the multi model you can see that this is the image from the image we can find the patches and they can be given to the layers layers next layers next level layers are there so we will give through the layers and cross attention so see here this is another attention is there we are giving these the layers outputs to the uh, attentions and then we are getting the final output so first step in the first step we are taking two two separate encoders and in the next level we are dividing the image into patches and patches we are giving into the input okay and in the next level we are generating we are first analyzing the image and those features we are taking those features and giving them to the layers of the encoders directly and in the next level we will go with the 
some part of the image we will take some part of the image this is the mask language modeling in that the some part of the image we will give the caption actually till now what we have done for the entire image we are giving the captions for the small part of the image we will give the caption and we will analyze that that we will i think uh, sir will discuss about this neil sir will discuss about this i think okay and these are the various models that we have to use no training means there will, there will not be any training directly there will be the encoders whatever you are giving that the corresponding other item other object will be given if you give the text it will give you the related image and if you give the image that will give you the text okay and that is the magic is there so these are the various actually i have given the models for each theme there are several models available i have given that in the ppt okay you will get the ppts at the end in that you can go through it these are the very the summarized ppts only these are the summarized ppts only you will get the model names right so this is what i want to cover today in the today's session okay again we will meet tomorrow thank you for listening i hope you understand the concept at least some part and i hope you will execute this program thank you